Hi, Michael, or as we say here in the American West, howdy. Uh, as promised, I was able to get my morning projects rolling, and so it is now the afternoon, and we're going to make this evaluation day. So happy evaluation day. This is your grandfather's 6139. Uh, I have it up and running. Um, let's talk about the numbers. They're low, but not terrible. And we can see that it's... It's a little wavery. I mean, 156 is low, and it's got the typical B error. And it's out of adjustment. But as we can see, the signal is clean. I mean, look, it's straight. I mean, straight relative to itself. It's not straight. But you understand what I mean. It looks okay. Ah, that was just pushing over the minute counter wheel right there. Okay. The movement looks quite decent. I mean, we've got some decent shine in the metal. It's clearly a runner. It's clearly original. It's all there. Movement ring spring looks good. It's always the first thing I look at this movement ring spring because if water gets in through either of the buttons, this is the first thing that's going to start to corrode and it corrodes quickly. So that's kind of the canary in the coal mine I look for there. The watch is original. It's your grandfather's watch, and uh, he he wore it, but he never abused it, which is which is nice. You know, he he took care of it, um, and it was his regular watch, I can tell. Uh, but it was uh, never abused. Nice and dusty, like these tend to get. There's no case pitting. Your case back seal is plastic, literally. That used to be rubber. Now it's now it's plastic. No, it looks good. I see no servicing marks inside the case back. That doesn't necessarily mean anything, but it could be that he just wore it. I sometimes, I get sort of feelings from different watches. Sometimes I, I can, I get sort of a feeling for the owner. This is a nice watch. It's a nice watch, and I like actually the dial. No, these, when they were new, these orange hashes are sort of a darkish pumpkin orange, and these have faded to a lightish tangerine, but it's attractive. It is interesting. I'm going to see. I mean, it, I don't see any servicing marks, but these typically didn't come with this this kind of red hand. They would have come with an orange. So I'm wondering if this did, in fact, get serviced at a certain point. It's attractive, though. Look at the white loom. This is what I always talk about when people ask me what to look for. I say, well, I look for a dirty watch, externally, dirty watch with a paint blurb on it, and a scratch crystal. I said, I always look for a scratch crystal because I want the watch to be original, unrestored. And I look through that scratch crystal and I look for white loom. You can see a little patina down at the base, but... No, that's a good watch. Everything functions. Your can opinion feels good. Uh, interesting. Spanish English. Spanish English day wheel. Hmm, interesting. I would have thought, of course, we don't see very many of these actually with the Roman English. I don't know why. But uh, you'd think coming from Australia that this would have had that, because that's typical for Australian watches, but this one has Spanish English. It's a nice watch. It'll be beautiful when it's cleaned up. It's got case wear. And of course, a blurb of paint, which will be gone when I'm done, but it's all there with a full-length bracelet. Full-length original bracelet. No, it's a good watch. It's a good watch. Yeah, your seals are definitely stiff. I don't want to play too much with those because they won't they won't compress in all the way so I'm not going to worry too much in about that well hang on uh, I'd have to main I'd have to manually actuate everything I, I guess I mean I guess I could Wouldn't hurt anything to do that manually actuate because your buttons are so stiff oh well wait a second what's that is that a piece of a jewel? What am I looking at right there? Or is that old grease? Hang on, sorry for the lack of picture here, folks. I'm trying to figure out what I'm looking at because I can't get the thing to actuate. Ah, uh, it's just old grease. Oh, and there's a big old hair in there. Hmm, okay. Well, hang on just one second. So I'm gonna talk to make up for the lack of image. And I'm trying to 
hang on just one second. I cannot get this to, there we go. There we go. That's why. Let's see how that looks. Ooh, it resets pretty much dead straight up to zero, which is really very nice. Okay. I'll show you that here in just a second. Sorry. What a silly video. Huh? See there. So I think it's smooth sailing. The uh, the problem was is the reset wasn't working because the one of the, the this button was stuck in and it wasn't allowing the lever to pull back. And there's that. Run it again. Okay. I think I think we have our way clear to us. It's a good watch. Okay. Let me know what you think.